everybody uh, I'm on a quick spin for the reasons why we're out I'm out with my mate Nick here he's behind me and, Hello. Uh, and I want to introduce this bike I'm on I've uh, been wanting to introduce it to the channel for a while um, but while I came I wanted to do it there, there was three purposes for this uh, trip we're doing today number one introduce this bike uh, that I'm riding number two uh, I thought it'd be nice that if Nick comes along and does a dual vlog with me uh, and he can sort of give me a review on his bike that he's got a, he's got about two, two years in uh, ownership of now um, oh there's a smell in it um, and we're riding up to uh, do another vlog that um, to explain that many of you don't know about that I was riding a Triumph Tiger and this time, well, round about this time last year on the back holiday, I had a pretty serious off uh, on it and more or less caused a good bit of damage to the bike a fair bit of damage to me um, and my mate Nick was literally riding behind me when it happened so we were gonna go we're gonna ride up to the crash site and sort of like talk uh, have a chat about it because I haven't been up to the crash site since for a year Well, first of all, so obviously I'm going to break it down into parts. Uh, the first, the first part is we're going to talk about Nick's bike because Nick is riding. Well, you tell me what is it? It's it, what model is it? And you? This is a 2003 Honda Deville NT650, um, which, as Nick alluded to a moment ago, I owned now for just over two years. Uh, I bought it with just over 20,000 miles on the plan, currently up to 31, uh, and it's a great bike, it's a great workhorse, it's nothing exciting, it's not going to set any lap records or uh, break any kind of record for that matter, Yeah. apart from maybe being the dullest bike you can have, it doesn't do anything particularly well, but everything it does it does you it. say that, well this is it, because it's through riding with you that I've become aware of that bike, right? Yeah. And you are right in some things you said, it does get overlooked, no, nobody looks at it as anything special. No. Um, now, but the reason I do know that they got something about it from the first off is because of my research into a different bike, where I've been on the lookout for a Honda Transalp for a while. Yeah, and they run the same and engine. It's the same engine, and all the um, Transalp owners rave about that engine because of the torque and the usability of it, and it's really good engine, strong, it's a low solid torque. engine. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's there's guys I'm aware of that are easily doing 150, 200,000 miles on the that's engine. It, yeah, um, and that's with minimal maintenance, that's just exactly. valve clearances and regular. I've seen some, they don't even do that. Regular oil right? changes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, a lot of people, when when they uh, came out, uh, both the 650 and the 700, a lot of the people that were buying them, uh, well, in fact, MCN rated it as the, like, the best mid-range Tora. Yeah. But uh, said about how dull it was, and that's how it got the... Co um, the Cornica then of uh, being a, a Dullville. Ah, but, um, yeah, the Dullville, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were used a lot by uh, dispatch riders. That's it, yeah. Um, and they still are. 
um, the 700 is still, I think, used by the uh, Garda, the Irish police. Oh, right, right. Um, yeah, they're, they're solid bikes. As I say, the engine is is a sweet little V-twin. Um, doesn't push out a lot of power, it doesn't get you anywhere fast, but it gets you there and it's keep saying the comfort. That. Can I just interject, because we've been, all, all of the last year or two, as a group, mm -hmm. we have been riding, and you've been riding alongside me on uh, my Triumph Tiger 800 XC, um, also Vaughan, who is riding a brand new uh, Aprilia Tono 660. Yeah. And you've been one of the leading riders in that, and you're, you know, let, let's be honest, you're not a small guy, right? So the power to weight, we, we're a lot smaller than, like, the, than you, right? Oh, yeah. And, and that's not, like, I'm not being nasty, I'm <laughs> just like... No, no, but I, I, I'm just speaking down. from having ridden other 600s and 650s. Right, yeah. It's, it's nothing, I mean, it's so much heavier than any other 600 or 650. I, yeah, this is it. I think curbside, curbside with fluids, I think it's about 240, 250 kilos. Yeah. Um, so it's a little damn sight heavier than, than the... And that's like, what makes it impressive. When you look at those factors, right, it's like it shouldn't be as good as it is. No. Handling and power and torque on, like, we've been to, like, how many, you know, the trips we've been to, up to Elam Valley, we've been to Boncarth, or, or on Pembrokeshire. Mm -hmm. We've done yeah. everything, right? Breck, and everywhere we've been, whenever we've been on fast flowing, like air roads where you can, you know, sling it about oh, yeah. and get some good pace going, you've been one of the leaders of the pack. It certainly yeah, not uh, left behind at all. Right? Oh, no, it, it, it copes very well at, at um, you know, uh, legal speeds. Yeah. Shall we say? And the, at um, the end of the day, especially at our sort of age now, in the twilight of our writing right career... So shut like, up, I'm in my prime, yeah. boy. <laughs> You're the only <laughs> one out of the two of us who's in their, I, in their I, 50s. I will say, like, that, that sort of Italian rage has waned in my writing. You're right next to me. You've got to give me uh, money when you do an app, pal. That's what you got mirrors for. Uh, but you know I'm blind. <laughs> Uh, when you come alongside me, you tend to ride it and creep up in my blind spot. Yeah, this is the best place to be. <laughs> right there, you can't see me. Um, so anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I'm... I've been so impressed that the rep that that bike gets is not deserved. I would, I would put it out there that it's not deserved, okay? Mm. Uh, I mean, those, those that own them... Um, a lot of people from Facebook groups and from forums online, a lot of people that own them love them to bits yes. and they've been through several or they've got several. I mean, I know guys that have got two or three 650s and a 700. Yeah. The other thing is, is like, you only look at how much you can pick these up. I, I mean, normally the gauge is you can't, you can't pick a, a decent bike up for less than a grand normally but, yeah. the, but these you can you can pick them up that i've seen after some ones mm -hmm. for about six to eight hundred quid they you can pick you, you can pick them up anywhere from about 200 quid up yeah, no. yeah, um i paid i paid 11 for this but as i say it had only done 20 21 000, i think it was when i bought it so yeah. it, it had done just over a thousand miles a year since yeah. new yeah um but I, uh, I, I love them, and obviously, so let's get sort of back to why did you buy it, or what was the reason? I, 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 you have told me before, but I want you to sort of say. Yeah, I can sure that, I mean, I, I do a lot of hype. I know I'm, as you've already alluded to, I'm a bigger guy, um, but believe it or not, I do like to get out and exercise. I do a lot of hiking and camping and yeah and stuff, so it's ideal for me with the built-in panniers, the, the top box, I can get all my camping gear. Yeah. All my hiking gear, um, my hiking poles are a bit of a pain, but it, they it do does fed, come across but, uh, as that perfect sort of oh, it's brilliant. Mid it's midweek tour. And you know what's weird is the market is actually going that way in that it's gone through the ADVs, but actually out of that, where they recognise the re a lot of people that are riding ADVs, they do get a bit of Mickey taking because they say, oh, they only got a Starbucks or they don't go off-road. And that's yeah. 
what the industry has recognised. Or oh, actually, it's not an ADV they want. They actually want a touring bike that's comfortable to ride, that's got power. Which way would mm-hmm. straight on, yeah? Yeah, straight on. Um, yeah. That they actually, and that's where, like, bikes like the Tracer 900 now is a very similar sort of um, concept then to what you're riding. In that yeah. it's got built on, or, well, clip onable. <laughs> uh, clip onable? Yeah, clip onable pa- panniers. And <laughs> we, li- we like new word integration here. Yeah, it's brilliant. Join us next week where we'll be making up new words all over again. <laughs> <laughs> The reason, you know, it, it was more what you wanted out of a bike that drew you to that bike, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, as you know, I'm, I, I'm solely a bike rider. I, I don't have a car license. Well, I don't own a car. You're an everyday uh, rider too. I'm an everyday yeah, rider all, all year round. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, prefer, I prefer older bikes for that reason. I'm simply because them as well. I yeah, they, be they're so much easier to work on. Yeah. It's purely mechanical rather than electronics even yeah, though it's, like I'm, I'm handy with electronics anyway but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know the, the engines are you just purely mechanical my, you did say you were going to fix my sockets and put it in the garage so I can live stream didn't you that's right yeah yeah that's right yeah it's a way you want I think you lost the invoice somewhere I'm not I, sure yeah, yeah, I got a contract <laughs> there written up somewhere <laughs> verbally but yeah, yeah so so yeah so I prefer older bikes anyway I've seen yeah. this come up on Facebook Marketplace. I was just actually going for a hike uh, to do the Gower stretch of the um, Millennium Coastal uh, Path. That's it, yeah. So um, I'd seen it a few days before I was setting off, tried contacting the guy, got no reply from him. So my, my trip went ahead as planned, me and the dog, four or five days around the Gower Peninsula, just hiking and camping. Right, yeah. And it was absolute bliss. But then on the Friday night, uh, we were, we were uh, pitched up in Port Ainan and I had an unknown number calling me, I took the call and uh, it was the guy finally getting back to me. Right. Uh, so I cut my trip short and left on the Saturday morning, got yeah. the bus bus back then to Slaffy and um, I went and viewed it on the Sunday morning and gave him the cash there and then. I told him, that, you know, he said, he, he had said to me in our initial phone conversation, she, he'd had plenty of offers, uh, but everybody was lowballing him, and I said to him, you know, given given what he had said about the condition of the bike and um, the, the mileage and everything else, I, I said to him, I'm not even going to harbour with you, mate. I'll, I'll take it as it is. Yeah. Uh, it's a fair deal. I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think it, it was absolutely fair. I mean, yeah. bikes with higher mileage, um, as, albeit in perhaps better condition than this, they, they're still commanding about the same price, if not more. Yeah. Um, even though you can pick them up dog cheap. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think I've, I've already had my money's worth out there. I mean, I, I, I know I've only put 10,000 miles on the clock, but... Uh, it's relatively quite low. Or me, I, I'd say medium average then, uh, in that it hasn't been used that much. No, uh, no. And it's, it's still got a lot left in the time. I mean, yeah, it's, my VFR year is on 43, right? Yeah. Um, and it's a couple of years older than this as well, isn't it, though? Yeah, so. yeah. So, like... And this has not done much mileage since I bought it, right? Uh, which, I, which I will get to in the second. I'll probably do a second part cut, of this. Cut the, conversa- cut the conversation. You need to adjust G360. Again? Yeah, it's leaning. Thank you. You pull in. I'll pull in and head to you. Right. It's, uh, it's falling over to the left. Stranger. Yeah. Because it was like solid. It's probably just worked. 
Uh, it's just vibrations, mate. It's going to work a bit loose. Right, cool. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs>